Dimensioning arcs. We can use the dim, dim command uh, as one option for dimensioning our arcs. The dim command is located right here on the home tab under annotation. Or I like to go to the annotator tab and go to the dim command. When I select the dim command, when I hover over the arc, as soon as I get near an arc, it highlights it. Then I can pick on the arc. Then I can drag out and specify the location of my dimension. Notice how it'll put a center mark in at the center of the arc and it'll draw the leader line so that it goes pointing towards that center mark. Ideally we like to have them at a 45 degree angle so I'll place it here and it'll automatically fill in uh, that particular radius. Uh, once again I can go up and I can choose the dim command. I can hover near the object, pick on it, and I can pull it over and place where I want my uh, dimension location to be by picking the left mouse button. And now I can come along and actually keep it stays in the command so I can just keep dimensioning. I don't have to go and bail out of the command. I can stay in the command and I can keep dimensioning when I'm done. I can hit enter and that will finish the command for me. And that's how we dimension arcs using the dim command uh, found here on the annotation in the dimensions panel or in the home tab in the annotations panel. And likewise another way we could do this is we can go to the annotate and we can go down hit the down arrow here and we can choose that we want to uh, dimension an arc we can go to the radius dim uh, dim radius and this is an alter alternate method I can pick on the object and pull it out and place it so that's old school method if you like but that's the dim radius method